Now it is going to be the Hail Mary kind of push coming in from Soul Dynasty. They've got 30 seconds left to pick up this A point. And uh, this doesn't quite, it isn't going to kill him straight up in the back. But soon enough, it's Fleta finally finds his opportunity. Goes in with the blade, finds the one kill, looks for the ball, gets it on Moth. And here we go, Soul Dynasty might be able to eke out the win here at the, at the very end. Genji Blade is Fleta now moving over, off to the Widowmaker, taking the clutch into his own hands. The headshot, that's a headshot, that's a headshot. I don't know for what we have just witnessed. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to another Overwatch Moments video. It's time to look at the best pro plays of 2020. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content, and let's get straight into it. I don't like to talk over these videos because we have some amazing shoutcasting, but the plays, the synergy, and the overall skill with these pro players is absolutely mind-blowing. Reduced once players of Kent State are off the point. Trying to peek around the corner with the Earth Shatter, not going to find anything. Does come through, though, by Kent State, finding no value. Wild Thing not able to do it a second time around as a counter. One comes through a pillar, does get the support, does go down. Nixon not in this fight any longer with the rally and self-destruct. That's going to be more than enough for Washington to press back Kent State and a beautiful sleep to shut down the Death Blossom. Washington able to hold strong shortly after passing that bookshop. So far on these Widows, everything tossed in right now. Goes over the top. Gosby gets Trill. Big shots. Yep, denied. You're not getting that. You're not getting that res off. And Gosby just for style's sake. In the end, it will be the Dallas. This amounts to too much. Oh, opportunity. What's out here for Doug? The Eternal getting weakened. Then fast falling in the pool. Finally, we're starting to get a little bit of momentum here. As so far, it was the Eternal in control. I think the critical moment of that fight was, uh, I believe, Noter Doha. One of them canceled Hanbin. If he's going to use EMP up on the bridge, you're going to need some of his damage. Oh, you may not even. He may not even. Oh! Ferocious from BQV. On Decay, uh, onto this Echo Somber strike. Gonna be poking at the back line. Fielder already got hacked, and it's actually Soon who drops first. Big dive coming in from the Dallas Fuel. Boom! FD from God! FD God. Two what an incredible boom! To be fair, it's not a very effective ult against the dive bomb, so you kind of want to take some big risks on it and uh, just get the value you can get. But what a burn by Soon. That's gonna finish off his Bob Charge, slowing down this rotation once again. No, is immediately burned down. Nico came in off the flank with a big two. Immediately, of course, Doha not going to be able to do much. All that was going to play. He almost up. Here comes the Eternal. Off on the oh. flank. Ben Bass. The shatter from behind. And that is a brutal stomping delivered courtesy of the Eternal. Reaper just continues. Sniping is Widowmaker is one thing, but popping off in pro play is Widowmaker is just a whole nother level. Okay, thanks, sir. We're going for a highlight real quick there. That was pretty sweet. Paris really going to try and defend this? Okay. Interesting maneuver. XC finds the pig. XC finds two. No, no, no. It wasn't supposed to end like this on the flank. What a turn of events. Well, the interesting part here, Dallas Fuel will be working so far, but K on it instead of Doha. Doha on the Echo. No! No! Oh, he he go. Do Something that. got him again! No! <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't test here on the defender. Just set up for second point. Soon does pop the Infrasight though. That's gonna signal that he wants to fight this. He's gonna go for the peak trade on the corner, but both Widows and Infrasight on should favor the defense if they're already in position. Decay, great line of sight. Takes down FD, got a quick two! Decay, just rolling him on up. 
and the floor. Gangster plays the window of pain, bringing so much damage forward. You can see the outlaw struggling to actually get onto the point at this point. Nuns ends up going down at two boss as Striker continues to hold this high ground, and Rascal just doing whatever he pleases, going for the big flanks and the kills. That's a triple for the end. Billy, they can basically win 5v6 off the distraction because even though Chips are basically sacrificed himself as a distraction, uh, everyone else is able to get value, but now it's Chips' time to shine. He's taking the nano boost. Meteor Strike in deep on the back line. Chips up, falling right on down. Makes it two. Is it going to be three? This is the fear we were worried about. He takes down a third. And Vancouver, no answer to. As every assault map goes, it is more of a snowball than anything else. Corey tries to rather cheeky. He throws it on in. But Roar actually ends up going down. He is still in the back line. Doesn't quite manage to get to Gamsu. The rest of the team are going to follow him up. In immortality field to save close to side for the time being. As Decay also ends up falling. Early vote is just getting rounded upon. As Doha ends up copying the main. And now it's all falling apart from the Justice. Corey's little funny escapade into the back line of the fuel. Not working so far. And Justice now. The pressure. And then he back up, and now Dalton has to be aware of PQO. And there's Nano Winston diving on in. Zotto saying enough's enough. Time to make some room. Takes down Suna as the first pickoff. And the fusion looking very healthy as they just mow Vancouver over. Yeah, you know, I thought the Nano would get the fusion through the choke, but instead it just wipes the defense. And still, the time grow to hold on. I mean, it's a risky resurrection. Can he back in the fight? What can the do? Make the head jump? Following up. This should not be a winnable fight for them at this moment. It's just so many players and yet they carry off. Bob now pushing this guy forward, contesting it. Lastro forced. Uh, he forced Redlock to shield away from KSP. KSP. <laughs> These plays are absolutely mind blowing. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, an absolutely oh. massive home dynamite combo with everything else that the makes NYL just get swept under the rug without a second thought. You see half this.
Logic. Oh, word. That's a good opening, Mr. Logic. Smart the odds both down. And this would be really be something the shots and help brought this back down three. Odds back into the fight, so it's four. Odds oh, oh, immediately down. That's a saucy one back to K was one four. And it just is on the bottom, Carpe on the top. They force out the transcendence. Fusion not leaving yet. Bonds with two, staying alive, killing off both divers. Now he's got the back line, he's the flanker now, and he's just putting out damage. Diva finally turns, but it's too little too late to have a grant just to fight him, and his teammates are absolutely coming in for the counter kills. Late dynamite on the ground, cuts them down. So many clutch moments in that fight. And it's a little bit of a bait for there. Is when the wrecking ball come running through, it doesn't matter what rank you are, because if you use him well, you're going to absolutely dominate. That's exactly what happens here. Dreamer continuing to just focus on harassing the back line, mm -hmm. uh, guess, which leads to Gravy, we're trying to hold down the fort on the point itself. He eventually falls. Now Dreamer has to get his hands dirty. Kill the Discord off. KSP. Oh, couldn't finish off Logix. The headshot really makes the difference there. Scrappy fight this time around. The Valiant though up in numbers at Beast. Yeah, it takes a big, pretty easy kill. That's for a time to dodge. He's able to get away. Being healed up as he goes. And the the rally. In the meantime, somehow the Defiant attack has been blunted when they had pole position. The perfect access point. Now they need to continue it. Dream is going to rock on in with a wrecking ball in those close quarters, and Gravitic Flux has to be used up here. Nevix can't follow up with damage, but he gets two kills as both of his quarries.
the MVP dog. I like it. Munchkin now drops to the low ground here. They're trying to get rid of Mana, but he's trying to do as much damage as he can before he's dispatched. Offers back to the high ground. Color Hex has been removed and Munchkin was knocked down. Immortality Field won't save the uprising. Immortality Field here from Ilmog is Vascular. Caught off guard a little bit by these hot markets on the SPC. And taken down. How much time for New York by now? Then they put for a little bit of the shield within the way. May have taken it very low, but he needs to find kills so far this evening. Should be able to. <laughs> color heads, though. May not like him, but he takes out Hot oh, Man. Man, man. man. He's showing up now. He loves it. Color heads living to be the villain. all the way to the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed the content if you did hit that like button consider even subscribing thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one